All right, guys, today I have for you an incredible Starfield farm. And with this one, you can farm everything. We're talking money, XP, ships, legendary weapons, and contraband. Literally every resource you could need, this farm delivers. Most farms will let you farm one of these things, and they've been covered exhaustively, like a money farm or an XP farm, for instance. But as far as I know, this is the first farm that lets you get an infinite amount of everything. So if that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe subscribe button on the channel and help support me and grow this channel over at patreon.com forward slash gaming with Griff Griffin. Now I have to give full credit to Reddit user Egregious Nefarious who first discovered this. They posted that they found a way to farm contraband, but along the way learned that they could actually farm a bunch of other stuff in addition. So things like the things I just mentioned, money, XP, ships, etc. And in this video, I'll be giving it a go to see if this actually works or whether it is too good to be true. And the way it works is this. First, you need to have the one status. You can get a wanted status by committing a crime in full view of a bystander. The quickest way I recommend to get a wanted status is to shoot someone in New Atlantis and then leave the planet and flee before you can get arrested. It doesn't matter how big or small the wanted status is as long as you have one. With the wanted status comes a bounty and this prompts ecliptic bounty hunters to get on your tail. And what we're going to do is farm these bounty hunters because they drop a lot of nice stuff. The best way to do this and the one that Egregious Nefarious mentions is to land on Vesta in the Lunara system. And what this poster did is land specifically at the deserted UC Garrison. I'm sure you can land in other places because Starfall does randomize things, but we're going to follow the exact methods this person used. Once here, they left their ship and whipped out their scanner. From here, they started heading in the distance of this icon which represents an undiscovered structure. I'm not sure how much that matters, but again, we'll just follow this beat by beat. On the way, a ship landed way off in the distance. Soon after, a second ship landed, and both of these ships contained ecliptic bounty hunters. Eliminating ecliptic bounty hunters gets you the loot they have on them, which is usually rare, epic, or legendary. So that would be good in itself. But the better thing is, is what's inside their ships. Each one contains two contraband items, so that's four in total. You can then sell this contraband at any trade authority you find for thousands of credits. Make sure to have a scan jammer on your ship, as well as a shielded cargo hold, to prevent your illicit goods getting stopped and searched as you jump into a system. Most systems will have scans, but there are a few without scans, so if you would prefer to avoid scans altogether, three places you can sell your contraband to are the Den, which is in the Wolf system, Red Mile, which is in the Porima system, and the Crimson Fleet base, which is on the Key in the Crix system. Now, I tried this on Vesta, and I couldn't get any ships to spawn personally, but when I went to a moon, I found ships spawned much more regularly. So I suggest going to a moon and testing this out. Now the one I'm on here is a moon called Hyperia, which is in the Narion system. Make sure to check in the upper right corner that you do have a bounty, just to make sure ecliptic bounty hunters are going to spawn. You need to stick to a system where this bounty is active. If you go to a system that's too far away, the bounty will disappear. You won't always get ecliptic ships that land, sometimes you'll get class C ships, like uh, for instance I found a UC Vista 3, which is one of the best ships in the game, and this just landed right out of the blue. I was very happy that it did as well. And you might as well help yourself to these ones along the way. But those ecliptic bounty hunters are what we're here for. The ideal ship to land is an ecliptic ship with ecliptic mercs. That's because these mercs, these bounty hunters that are sent after you, carry high tier loot. And their ship contains two contraband items. I recommend heading straight inside the ship and dealing with the bounty hunters after. The reason for this is, sometimes the ship will just straight fly away if you don't enter it in time. And you don't want to watch that valuable ship fly off into space, trust me. And plus, let's not forget, there's another reason to enter ships, and that's so you can steal the ships themselves. But that's not all, because as well as the weapons and loot from the ecliptic bounty hunters and the contraband on their ships, you can steal the ships 
themselves. Register them in the menu to save money as it is cheaper than registering them through the vendor and you can sell these off for again thousands and hundreds of thousands. So where does the farm portion of this thing come in and how do you get everything to reset and respawn? Egregious Nefarious says that prior to stealing the ships they actually fast travelled back to their ship to stow their contraband. They then waited 12 hours and upon returning back to the ships new contraband had spawned here. In addition the captain's locker had also refilled with all types of goodies and one or two bad guys usually with rare epic or legendary gear also respawned inside each ship. So that adds up to more contraband, more credits and more legendary gear as well as the XP you get from taking out the new enemies. You can't say no to that. I mean it's not a load of XP, we're not grinding it out here but you know every little helps. After doing a bit of testing, I found that it's very hard to get two ships to spawn, so I'm stuck only farming one ship. That's one of the first downsides of this farm. That's fine though because there's still goodies inside. Enemy wise, the enemies indeed spawned back when I went to go back to the ship, only they look like this. They are completely immobile. They are just stuck here posing so we can definitely class this as a glitch. But it's not all bad because the high level enemy of the group actually had a different rare item on them than they did on the previous run so we can farm a different random item off them using this method. Sadly the contraband inside the ship did not respawn, I checked the ship head to toe and couldn't find any contraband. But hey, maybe it's just me or it could be any number of factors, wrong planet, wrong system level, there are so many elements involved, that's why I want to say to you, test this out for yourself and see how you get on. Because honestly, this farm has the potential to be huge. Every five minutes, you can get four lots of contraband, 20,000 to 40,000 credits, a full captain's locker of weapons, and the chance to roll a rare, epic, or legendary item courtesy of the high level enemies that spawn. Added to that, two new spaceships to steal when you're done, and you have an amazing Starfield Everything farm. So, full credit once again to Reddit poster Egregious Nefarious this is a great find and it's all happened because of our wanted status which just goes to show you that sometimes crime does pay and it pays over and over again so let's sum up each step of this farm once again just so we are clear first get a wanted status next land and watch in the sky for a ship coming down and make your way over to it take out the enemies and then loot them when the other ship lands take out the second load of enemies doing this prevents them from flying away now enter both ships in turn and loot the contraband, as well as the storage and captain's lockers that you find there. Now fast travel back to your ship, stash the contraband and wait 25 hours. The final step is to return to the ships and steal the contraband that has now respawned there, as well as the newly restocked captain's locker and take out the high level enemy hiding in the ship for their rare, epic or legendary item. You can then repeat this process until you're happy, at which point steal both of the ships. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did remember to subscribe to the channel and i would massively appreciate it if you kicked a few coins my way to help support this channel over on patreon.com forward slash gaming with griff griffin